I thought tidy meant putting things away. I know, but I'm trying to organise all the things I want to keep, like my swimming certificate. Oh, well, let me help you. Uh, what about this letter from your grandparents? Keep or not keep? Keep. OK. And what about this sweetie wrapper? Ew. Keep. What? Not keep. <laughs> oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> let it be me. Let, 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 let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me. Dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. I wonder what we're playing today. Right, so I'm wearing a pointy hat, ski wear, and flip flops. This can't be right. So, I'm wearing a grey wig a red sash, and I'm feeling very grand and important. What are we playing today? I know, we're playing courtroom judges, and we're going to be in charge of a courtroom. So what do we need to know? A judge works in a courtroom. A courtroom is a place where it is decided if adults have done something wrong or not. If they have done something wrong, they are guilty. If they haven't, they are innocent. A group of up to 12 people called a jury decide whether a person is guilty of doing something wrong. To work out if someone is guilty or innocent, a judge makes sure that the jury hears both sides of the story. And a judge must control the courtroom. Order! Order! <clears throat> so I better get my loud voice ready. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Ooh. A bandage. I wonder what we're going to need this for. Oh, well, I guess we'll soon find out. So, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Where is it? Rebecca, can you guess what we're playing today? Sorry, Sid, can't. You know that swimming certificate I found? Yeah. Well, I've lost it. Again? Oh, no. Oh, look. Here it is. <gasps> oh, thanks, Sid. <laughs> hey. You look like a courtroom judge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Your Honour, I am guilty of not keeping my things in a safe and tidy place. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, I'll get it all sorted by the time you get back. See ya. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play judges. Yes! Oh -ho! <laughs> right, so where are we? I need to find a courtroom so I can start being a judge. Whoa, that building is very grand. I wonder if there's a courtroom in there. Nah, straight up. I've been asked to be part of a jury. Now, that's why I'm not in work today. <laughs> Thanks. Catch you later. Oh, excuse me, can you tell me what this building is? What, that? Well, it's a Crown Court, isn't it? A Crown Court? So that sounds like the place that might have courtrooms. Oh, straight up. It's got loads of courtrooms. Well, that's where I need to be. Thanks. Oh. Didn't I just hear you say that you're going to be on a jury, so shouldn't you be coming this way as well? Well, I should, but 
Listen to this. That is a very grumbly tummy. Oh, no. I'll need some breakfast before I sit in a jury. I'll be along in a mo, straight up. Right, well, don't be late, will you? Oh, we don't have to be late either. Come on, let's get in there. Let's play! I wonder which way it is to the courtroom. Oh. In here, maybe? Not in there. Judge Sid, I assume. I'm Jessica, your court usher. Judge Sid at your service. Good morning, Jess. Jessica, Judge Sid, not Jess. As your court usher, I will be showing people into the courtroom and helping with today's case, which reminds me. Today, you'll be hearing the case of the stone ring. Nancy Nice is accused of stealing a ring from Mr Wright. We better get to the courtroom. Uh, this way, not that way. Right. Time to be a judge, then. Today, I'm going to be fair and square, and we are going to get to the truth in this case. Let's play! All rise for the Honourable Judge Sid. Wow. So this is my courtroom. I'm in charge of all this. Right, I better get this trial started. Let's see here. Uh, Mr Wright, you believe that Miss Nice stole your family ring, am I right? No, Your Honour. I'm right. Mr Wright. Yes, I know you're Mr Wright, but am I right? I don't know. Are you right? Uh, are you of the opinion that Nancy Nice stole your ring? That's right. Right. Whew. Glad we cleared that one up. And what do you say, Nancy? Are you guilty of stealing the ring or are you innocent? Um, I am not guilty, Your Honour. I am innocent. I didn't steal the ring. Very well. Mr Wright, please approach the witness stand so we can hear your side of the story. Objection! Who said that? I did, Your Honour. I am a barrister, and I am looking after Nancy Nice's side of the case, and here to make sure she has a fair trial. And I object to you starting this trial. I object strongly, very strongly. Objection! Objection? Again? Now who said that? I did, Your Honour. I am the barrister looking after Mr Wright's side of the case, and I object to all this objecting. Oh. I'm so confused. Why is everyone objecting? Because, Your Honour, you should not start the trial without all the members of the jury. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven people on my jury. Oh, no. I don't think that's enough. But I can't remember how many people I'm supposed to have. If I haven't got enough people to start the trial, I don't think I should start it. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Hold on. I remember, do you? That's right. A group of up to 12 people called a jury decide whether a person is guilty or not of doing something wrong. 12. I need 12 people. If that many people were asked, that's how many people I should have. Usher, I'm off to find our missing jury member. Come back, Judge Sid. This is not proper judge behaviour. <sighs> By any chance, are you supposed to be on a jury right now? Are you late? Uh, yeah, sorry, but when I went to get this bacon sandwich from the calf, there was a queue right at the door there was, straight up. The courtroom's this way. What? Oh, that bacon sandwich smells good. I hope I can get one of those after the trial. Wait for me! Let's play! Right. Yes, Your Honour? Oh, oh, no, not you, Mr Wright. Uh, just right, as in we now have 12 jury members, so the trial can begin. Oh, right. Uh, now I mean you, Mr Wright. Um, are you ready to tell everyone what you remember to have happened? I am. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I remember the day quite clearly, because it was gloriously sunny. And I decided I was right. It was time to take a stroll. I know. I think I'll take a walk to the shops. Good morning. I was right. I said it would be sunny. Good morning, grocer. I was right about your strawberries, too. They were delicious. 
I was so busy saying hello to everyone that I didn't notice that the ring was slipping from my finger. You see, the thing about that ring is that it was too big. It belonged to my father, and he had much larger fingers than me. But anyway... My ring! It's gone! That's when I turned around to see Nancy Nice holding up my ring, trying to sell it to a shopkeeper. But I, I, no, I only just... Please, listen. She sounds guilty to me. Oh, dear. It looks like Nancy's trying to say something, but no-one can hear her. Members of the jury, it is time to decide. Is Nancy Nice guilty or not? Please, come this way. The jury are going to decide whether Nancy is guilty of stealing the ring based on what Mr Wright said. But I'd like to know what Nancy was trying to say. It doesn't seem fair that the jury couldn't hear what she was saying. What should I do? Oh, no. Hold on. I remember, do you? To work out if a person is innocent or guilty, a judge makes sure that the jury hear both sides of the story. Hold on. We need to hear Nancy's side of the story too. Let's play! I swear that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I remember the day when, because I was on my way to the shops. Don't worry, Gran. I'll be back soon. My grandmother had hurt her wrist and I was getting her a bandage. Suddenly, something sparkly caught my eye. Oh, what a beautiful ring! I wonder whose it is. But I couldn't see anybody that the ring could belong to. Then I saw a shopkeeper and I thought that maybe she would know. Excuse me? Yes, Madzea? I just found this ring. Do you know who it might belong to? You see, mm. I didn't steal the ring, and I wasn't trying to sell it and keep the money. I was trying to return it. Well, we've now heard both sides of the story, but i better make sure we have heard everything. Before the jury decide whether Nancy Nice is guilty or innocent, does anyone have anything to add? I do. I have something to add. I'm glad I asked. Your Honour, I have found a witness who can clear this whole story up. May I present to you the shopkeeper? Objection! It's too late to hear from the shopkeeper. But, Your Honour, we must get to the truth! We don't need the shopkeeper. I told you what happened. Nancy was selling my ring. Please, Your Honour, let the shopkeeper speak. She can explain what really happened. I can't hear what everyone's saying. Don't allow it. Allow it. Please, Your Honour. I think the jury has heard enough. How can I be a judge and hold a fair trial if everyone keeps speaking over each other? What am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, a judge is supposed to control the courtroom. Order! Order! I said order in the courtroom. Hmm. Now, should I hear from the shopkeeper? Yes, it would only be fair if we heard from the shopkeeper. I, Tallulah Jane, Beatrice Bell, Kitty Beauregard, swear that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I will never forget that day. It was terrible, because I woke up with... Puffety hair! <laughs> and there is absolutely nothing you can do with puffety hair. Except for accessoires. If you could get to the point, please, madam. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. And that was also the day I had a delivery of shoes. Very fashionable. Sling back with a toe bow. And I was creating a fabulous new window display. <gasps> Excuse me. Yes, my dear. And that's when Nancy came running up to me and she holds up this ring. Oh, the outfit it could go with. Well, anyway, she told me she just found the ring on the pavement and she asked if I knew who it belonged to so she could return it. I hadn't seen anyone, but I thought to myself what an honest young woman she was. And I just found this ring. Do you know who it might belong to? <gasps> the courtroom were being noisy again. I said she was innocent, didn't I? Here goes. Order! Order! Thank you. You may step down. Members of the jury, you have now heard from everyone. 
it is time to go to your room and decide whether Nancy Nice is guilty or innocent of stealing the <laughs> ring. The jury are going to make their decision. This could take a while. What shall I do? Oh. A ball game. He aims. He throws. He hit the target. Judge said, I'm not really sure this is proper judge behaviour. The jury are returning, Your Honour. The jury are returning, Your Honour. I wonder what the jury have decided. Is Nancy innocent or guilty? Let's find out. Members of the jury, have you reached a decision? We have, Your Honour. We are all agreed that Nancy Nice is... Not guilty. Members of the court, Your Honour, and most importantly, Nancy Nice, I am so very sorry. I made a terrible mistake. I wasn't right at all. I was wrong, and I am never wrong. Order, order! Nancy Nice, the jury have decided that you are innocent. You are not guilty. You did not steal the ring. You are free to go. But why aren't you smiling, Nancy? I only went out to get bandage for my grandmother. You see, she sprained her wrist playing table tennis. But because I was accused of stealing the ring, I had to go to the police station and didn't ever get one. Oh, dear. What can I do? Oh, hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? This. Here you are, Nancy. I thought this would come in handy. You can give this to your grandmother. I hope it helps her wrist. Oh, thank you. You really are a brilliant judge. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye, Nancy. This court is dismissed. Let's play. Well done, Judge Sid. You really were a good and fair judge. And I have a little something for you. Thanks, Jessica. Oh, wow. A bacon sandwich. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done such a good job without remembering everything we needed to know. A jury is made up of 12 people who decide if someone is guilty or innocent. Not guilty. A judge makes sure that a jury hears both sides of the story and controls the courtroom. Order, order. The court is now closed, Your Honour. I think it's time I went home now anyway. Well, thanks for the sandwich. Oh, and um, can I take this file home, please? Of course. Now you go, and I'll tidy up here. OK, thanks for everything again. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid. How was it being a courtroom judge? Oh. It was hard work, but I did help bring justice in the case of a missing ring. Oh, fantastic. Looks like you've been working really hard, too. Yes, this is everything that I want to keep. But I can't think of a good way to store it. Aha! Uh -huh. You can use this file and tie it up with the ribbon at the end. Fantastic! Thank you! Playing courtroom judges was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play! I love to play monsters and roar like this. <laughs> This is how I walk when I'm playing astronaut. When I play mermaids, I swim like this. Hello, my fairy friends. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to click here or here to watch more of your favourite videos right here on ZK Julia. Bye-bye.